Hey, what's going on? I am Jay Dudley, and there's a goat staring me in the face. If you don't believe me, uh, oh, got it going the wrong way. There she is. That sugar the goat. She's staring me in the face. I'm trying to make a video. She keeps hopping up. But, and now she's, move. Now she's going to try to, um sniff the camera over move so once again hi i'm ja i'm over here uh rocking my ats shirt again wasn't on purpose i, I just took a shower went into the pile of my t-shirts grabbed one put it on uh, but it actually works out for today one of the brothers there he has a company and that's called Kentucky Gunworks. Uh, and that made the camera go all types of crazy. And he has a uh, reliability, uh, uh, enhanced reliability gun oil. So I figured I would clean my rifle, my Saint, right here, my 308. Let's clear it out, make sure everything is all good nothing in there and the camera's being all wonky well the gimbal is being all wonky so let's turn that part off and hopefully I'm still in frame oh still trying to track me there we go so let's get it up to there that should be good I guess I don't know it'll work but yeah my my Saint, my 308, my DMR designated marksman rifle, where I practice and train to do the long rangey things with it. So I've been having some issues with uh, with everything sticking. Hey, after a few shots, like during some of our our training. Everything was sticking and getting all gunked up. Probably from carbon deposits. Uh, it's looking mighty dirty. So I need to clean all of that up. Use some of this oil, clean out my barrel. Got my barrel snake here. Look, look, just that quick how dirty my fingers got. But got my barrel snake, gonna clean that out. This is what I was using before uh, Lucas gun oil, but I'm gonna toss that to the side right now and test out uh, Kentucky and Gun Works. See what this is all about. I don't think I'm gonna get to the range today. I'm just gonna clean everything up, make sure it's all good, and uh, maybe tomorrow. Well, we got some. Uh, as a camp, we got some stuff to do and take care of. Look at that. Just wiping it off with a old t-shirt that I work out in from time to time. All full of holes. How dirty my bolt carrier group is. So, ooh, it is completely gunked up. That's why... It was doing what it was doing. So, I uh, this should be a fairly quick video. I don't think I'll have time enough to, um, uh, to actually review the oil after I get it on there. Maybe I will in the future, but I uh, I'm going to leave uh, links down below for Kentucky Gun Works. So you can check out their oil. I'm going to finish cleaning up my rifle and uh, get in work in order in case uh, the paratroopers start uh, dropping from uh, those countries that have a problem over there. Don't want to get anything flagged by putting out any names or anything like that. But so I could pick them off in the sky before they even land. Outside of that, I... This is cool. He's a brother in Christ. That's why he was there at ATS. Well, let me show you the back of the t-shirt. 
Hopefully I turned it good enough so you can read it. So he was there. Go check him out. Check out his company, uh, Kentucky and Gun Works. Uh, get you some oil. He travels around the country selling his stuff. And uh, since he's still in business, it must be good. But I'm going to put it through the paces whenever I get a chance to, which will hopefully be this week so I can get my 308 uh, kachunkin again like it needs to be. No more jams. But like I said, that's it. Shalom. Hey, a little bit of um, bonus. Wow, this thing is moving smooth. Before, it was jamming up. Got everything nice and clean and lubed up uh, from Kentucky, Kentucky and Gun Works. But I'm going to do another thing. I'm going to flip the camera around. Well, here's something I noticed uh, between the two. I see those drops there. I uh, After I was done getting everything to, together and doing some function tests, I decided to put a couple of drops on the wood. So start with the uh, Lucas Extreme Duty Gun Oil. Now look at how this absorbs into the wood. Nice little drop. Come on. See how quick that absorbs into the wood? And then the uh, Kentuckian Gun Works. Let's put a drop out for that. Come on, drop. Come on. See how it absorbs slower? So this seems to have a better viscosity. Not sure what it's all made out of. Maybe I should have read that. Yeah, follow uh, them on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, veteran owned and operated. Yes, indeed. And one of the best parts, uh, made in the USA. That's what's really cool about it. Made in the USA. Is this, I think this Lucas, uh, American business. Yes, but is it made in the USA? I don't know. Maybe I should have researched all of this. No. Burn off res resistance. But it's an American company, but it doesn't say if it's made in the USA. They just have that, uh, that label on there. That might be a marketing tactic. But this is made here in the USA. So, I uh, had two drops. This one, I uh, just absorbed into the wood real quick. This one, I uh, took a moment. It was a lot thicker, and hopefully it helps out my rifle to run a lot cleaner, or maybe I need to just uh, clean my rifle more often. But there's my Saint. Got a take it back to the range oh uh, my son was out here walking around and he wanted to leave his stick up here with me as i cleaned my rifle found a new stick uh he and my wife came walking by so he gave it to me and left it there so that's his stick you remember my coffee cup but this is a little bit of uh bonus footage go check out kentucky and gun works like I said, I'll leave the uh, uh, the link to all his stuff in the description. But now I'm actually going to say shalom. So a little bit of bonus footage. Take care.